Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. About to share some really crazy things with you. One of them is a news article, and another one is a related event that happened to our channel. And it has to do with aliens, both of them do. And it's really kind of crazy, because if you've watched our videos in the past, we have shared a couple videos that are warnings about the upcoming alien deception. It's been in the works for a long time, but fortunately today when I was on YouTube, a video popped up in the feed from Fox warning us that aliens are real. And I'm going to show you that clip or parts of that clip in a second. But if you aren't aware of the fake alien invasion and that threat and what the purpose of that is, we've sort of laid that out in another video called The Upcoming Deception is Near. So you need to watch that if you haven't seen that. It'll explain it all. But right now, let's just go ahead and watch the Fox News story. It's kind of hard to watch when you're awake and you know what's going on. But just watch and listen to the serious tone of their message. Well, for decades, only crackpots and crazy people believed in UFOs. That's what I thought anyway. And then in recent years, it turns out that governments had been taking them seriously all along. The governments have been taking them seriously all along. Very seriously. How serious, you ask? Well, serious enough to create the Space Force. And yes, we're making this new program, pretending that it's to help keep us safe from foreign threats and all of that. But they are soon going to play out the alien card. And all the world powers will probably come together to fight this threat bringing forth the new world order that the crazy people that he has spoken of warned us about. And um, it's it's not really a laughing matter, even though right now it seems that way, because the stuff is going to happen. And they are going to have weapons up high, not from space, because that's all a lie, and there really is no extraterrestrial threat. But watch how serious they make this threat seem. And at the bottom of the screen it says expert and it this expert supposedly warns us that we need to take this threat seriously so listen to what they have to say nick pope is a journalist who has spent years researching ufos for the british government he says that ufos aren't just real they also frequently come close to crashing into commercial airliners among other things nick pope joins us tonight nick thank you very much for coming on um, so it's really not a question of do governments believe USOs, UFOs are real? Yes, they do. The United States government does. The British government does. The question is, do they have any idea what they are, where they're from? No, we don't. We keep an open mind on it. We don't rule anything uh, off, you know, take nothing off the table with this. Our point really is that whatever these things turn out to be, there is a serious defense, national security and air safety issue here. Yes. Well, so that's and, kind of the nub we, of it, and that is the, that, that's where my interest comes from. So why aren't governments encouraging the population to, as they say about terrorism, if you see something, say something, report sightings to the government so we can make sense of this potential threat? Well, they should be, and that's what we certainly did at the Ministry of Defense for many years. We took it very seriously. Our own pilots were seeing these things. We were having radar operators track them. And we knew, again, through intelligence and through open source material, we knew that the Russians and the Chinese and others were working on this too. The problem was that just the pop culture baggage from the term UFO, flying saucer, little green men, people right. don't take it seriously. But they should. So we've ruled out, I think, that these are aircraft, experimental aircraft, or technically advanced aircraft from other countries. Is that true? Well, no, we keep an open mind, as I say, and, and some of these things probably are uh, Russian or Chinese, whoever it is, but th that's the point. We must find out if there's something in our airspace we need to know. Uh, for years, governments said they didn't do this. They did. I did it for the British government. I can only talk about this now because... We're about to deceive the entire world 
and the sheeple will believe it. My old employers are gradually declassifying and releasing information about my old job. We now know, of course, the Pentagon had a program too. I think it will take congressional hearings to get to the bottom of all this, not just in, in uh, the United States, but all around the world. And I, I'd like to see those congressional hearings. I'm sure you would, buddy. And uh, this guy, he probably believes they're real because there are flying objects that we don't know what they are. They're unidentified. That's why they're called UFOs. But they are from the same powers that have deceived us about lots of things like the earth that we live on and the heavens above, the sun, the moon, the stars, the list goes on. But um, just look at the, the, the bottom here of the screen. Russia in China are also investigating UFOs and psychic powers. Okay, that's no coincidence that those two are together because aliens, as we are finding out, are not really from other planets. <laughs> that's a huge, huge lie in and of itself. But uh, psychic powers also have evil roots. Okay, they are satanic. It's talked about in the Bible many times. They called them soothsayers and other things way different than prophecy okay these are not things that are going to profit you okay all these different things are very evil along with these aliens and the alien encounters you've heard about but before we spend any more time on this new story we're going to move into something really crazy that happened to our channel a couple weeks ago i thought it was interesting you may think so too but um if you want to watch the rest of this news segment i'll leave a link in the description so you can watch it there and laugh at it and um, share it with your friends, try to wake some people up. But uh, let's look at what happened to our channel after we released a video. And the video was called Faking Space Then Versus Now, Only the Best Fails Included. And I worked really, really hard on this video, put the most obvious fails on there that we could find so that you could show it to anyone and they could not deny that there were some major deceptive practices going on throughout the history of space programs or programming and so put this together worked really hard was excited and wanted it to get some steam and make it royalty free so that anyone could mirror this video and not get in any trouble for copyright issues and uh, when I made the video soon after I noticed that ads were popping up so I checked my email to see if there was anything that had copyright material and sure enough I had an email saying that there was and so I did some investigation and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you who it was that had the copyright claim against us and what happened shortly after I started looking into it because I wanted to know who was going to be making money off of our video I'm okay with someone making money off of our videos if I use their content they deserve the money but I worked really hard to make this video royalty free so that anyone could mirror this video and not get in any trouble. Did not put any songs in there that were copyrighted at all. Tried to make everything completely royalty free. And this website was the one telling me that they owned part of my video. Well, which part exactly? Did some digging, found out it was the Neil Armstrong audio where he was talking in the background. It was just the audio from a public speech that anyone could listen to and Neil was just saying a little quote about how you could make some discoveries you just have to peel back some of truth's protective layers I thought that was an interesting quote from him since he hasn't said much after the moon landings I thought we should listen to what he had to say well looking down here they tell you a little bit about what they're about they're an entertainment group here okay nothing too cool stands out at first and then I saw the word UFO ancient mysteries and I'm like okay what does this have to do with Neil Armstrong and um, started clicking on some links and I haven't clicked on all of these I've just clicked on a few okay you guys can look at some of these with me but I clicked first on the one that says UFO and that brought me here to mutual UFO network and it's an organization that investigates cases of reported UFO sightings and it's one of the oldest and is the largest UFO investigative organization in the US okay and the, and the field of investigator holds an annual symposium and publishes the monthly journal 
The stated mission of this network is the scientific study of UFOs for the benefit of humanity. So it's always for our benefit, guys, this whole UFO play with demons <laughs> scenario. They're basically wanting us to make friends with demons. Not going to happen. Some of you might try, and the Pope might want you to do that and tell you you should do that. But it's not good. These things are evil. They are not from other planets. Okay? But they want you to believe that, and they want to make it seem really real. So uh, you can keep clicking on this. I'll try to leave a link to this website, too. But uh, the crazy thing is, when I was looking into this and about to do a video that, like the one I'm doing now, something happened. The copyright, after I told my wife about this and said it out loud and said I'm going to do a video about this, started to go make the video, and the copyright claim vanished. It was gone. And I've never had that happen before where someone does that and then brings it away, draws it away, and no longer has an issue with your video. So I don't know what happened there, but they took that away from uh, our video. So the video is now perfectly fine standing. And then you go through here, you see there's lots of weird stuff. Hypnotherapist. Okay. On that one. And go back to it. Click on another one. Truth, Mysteries, and New Frontiers. String Theory. Okay. Portal to Ascension, leading online and live conferences. This looks innocent. What is this? Edgar or something? I don't know. But you go through and look. Lots of really, really weird stuff. And um, things that just are like, to me, satanic. All this alien stuff they want you to believe in. Creepy looking images. And it's all part of the upcoming deception. But I don't know why these people thought that they owned Neil Armstrong's words if all they specialize in is alien entertainment and UFO stuff. I have no clue because it was a public speech. Didn't know you could own words from a public speech. I guess you can. You can own anything, especially if you have a specialty with UFO research and content. UFO Truth Magazine. The truth is already here, people. I think it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, here's the truth. Look at the spherical Earth. It's all true. Gotta believe it. Seen really good pictures of it. Okay. But uh, you can explore these. I wanted to look at some of them with you because I had never looked at all of them. Taken the time to look at all of them. Awakening. Awakening. What is this? We're awakening to the truth about aliens. So, after an incredible awakening expo 2018, which saw over 2,000 truth seekers come together, we now present to you one of the greatest researchers and respected lecturers of our time. So, this is a big deal. Pretty sick. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Did you see that? That jumped out of nowhere. Look at that. Aliens. Awakening props and costumes. Got to keep it real. Lots of creepy stuff. So, uh, I thought this was very interesting. You guys might not. I thought it was. Wanted to share it. So, uh, give us your thoughts. We look forward to hearing from you and getting your expert advice because I am learning so much from all of you guys and we really appreciate you sharing our videos. I can see that lots of you have in the past. Something's going on now, it seems like, where our momentum is sort of slowing down. But uh, depending on you guys to share things, to keep people informed and not misinformed like we have been forever. So uh, thanks again for all that you do. Couldn't do it without you. You're a blessing to us. You're a beloved creation. We thank God that you're here. So. Uh, be kind to those who disagree with you, or even if you disagree with me, I don't hate you. We still love you, and we're not your enemy. You're not our enemy. We don't fight against flesh and blood. There are powers of darkness out there, and we all need to team up and kick some butt. Okay, so thanks again. We love you. Look forward to seeing you around next time. God bless.